As Mardi Gras celebrations continue, several tri-state restaurants are celebrating Fat Tuesday ahead of the start of Lent tomorrow. But have ongoing ch supply chain issues disrupted the annual festivities? Eyewitness News Cody Bailey is live in Evansville with the latest on this. Cody? That's right, Brad and Shelley. For this year, after the announcement of a local bar, Rick 718, that they would not be able to participate in the festivities this year due to worker shortages and supply chain issues, concerns began to arise for other establishments and the possibility that they also wouldn't be able to participate in the Mardi Gras events. However, here at Chaser's Bar and Grill in Evansville, they've proven that their supply meets this year's high demand. Everybody's just here eating, having a good time, and enjoying the food. The sights, the sounds, and the smells. By looking at the atmosphere at Chasers, you would not suspect supply issues for the Mardi Gras favorites. General Manager Nicole Marshall says there were no issues at all. We actually have uh, authentic cake cakes delivered here from Louisiana every day. So they're fresh every day. Um, and then the owner's wife, and she took a couple of the bartenders down there um, to pick up a lot of the product to bring it here. Supply has been able to meet the high demand from a community longing for normalcy. With COVID last year, um, they had a lot of people scared, and I think people are just done. You know what I mean? They want to be out. They want to be outside. They want to enjoy good Mardi Gras food, and we have it. Employee Jessica King says the difference this year is visible. I would say we are much busy, like more busy this year than we were last year. Um, we still have, a, I think we brought more food back home this time because last year we ran out, about, we started running out for the last two days. I think that we knew because restrictions were starting to calm down that we were going to be a lot more busy than what we have been in the past. So I think going forward, knowing that we were able to make sure that we had enough supplies. Marshall says the lifted COVID restrictions allowed her to plan ahead and stock up for the Mardi Gras celebrations, ensuring there were no thin menus for Fat Tuesday. We have plenty of the oysters and the crawfish, so we're good to go. All night. Oh, yeah, gumbo, yep. gator bites, all the good stuff. <laughs> And despite the ongoing supply chain issues, other restaurants we spoke to today are in a similar boat as the case here at Chasers. Just across the street is uh, Bud's Bar and Grill. They also planned to overstock this year to make sure they have plenty of supplies to meet the anticipated larger crowds that just want to get out and return to that sense of normalcy and celebrate Mardi Gras here in 2022. Reporting live in Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.